Hey, bienvenidos, buongiorno. Hello, welcome back. So, this is the Ivana Trump reading. And Ivana Trump was born February 20th, 1949 in Czechoslovakia. And she passed away July 14, 22. She was buried. <laughs> this is her resting place, if you look it up. At Trump International Golf Club at Bentmister, New Jersey, USA. <laughs> I, 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 what, what can you say? It's not even a cemetery. Now he's made it to one. Perhaps for tax reasons. I just also wanted to say that I did a, another reading on her, the first reading. I can't publish it because I have really bad sound. I had my window open and it was at nighttime. It was a hot day. So I opened up this window here. And all you hear is my neighbors with music and all that. Now, I guess I'm immune to it. Um, but I know that people on YouTube, you guys are going to find it annoying and I don't blame you. I mean, if when I was listening to it, I was like, wow, that sounds really loud. It sounded louder in the video than in person. So I may put, I may post some clips of it, what, what I got, because I think her message was loud and clear, but I decided to redo it instead of dubbing over. It's just too hard for me to dub over. It's annoying. So let me do this reading on her, Ivanka, I mean, sorry, Ivana, Ivana. Now, I think Ivana communicate, communicated very well with me in my last, the, the reading I did, and I'll post it. She's worried about her children, mostly Don Jr., Ivana Trump. And now that these people have passed away, I think that they can see like, I'm the real deal, right? Like, I actually predicted what clothes her daughter, Ivanka, was going to be wearing at Donald Trump's last day in office. I said she was going to be wearing either black, navy, or brown clothing. I said that Melania was going to be wearing a bun. On the la <laughs> Everything. So I'm sure that now that they're in another realm, I think she can see now. where I am, who I am. So I got very good messages from her. Very sincere, very truthful energy. Ivana, Ivana Trump. Ivana Trump. Ivana. Ivana, what do you have anything to tell us? Two of Pentacles. Hold on. Ace of Pentacles. <gasps> She has two wills. That's what I got in my last reading, that she was very worried about her family, her children. So she has two wills. She may have done, and she may have revised her will. I think she revised her will. Six of Wands. And she might have left everything to her kids. Six of Wands. Is Triumph. And you see this woman with a child. By the way, let me show you something. This is the Dark Wood Tarot by Sasha Graham. Or by Abigail Larson. So I know a lot of you are always curious as to what deck I'm using. 
I found this deck to be the most representative of someone that's passed on. So the Six of Wands, she triumphs and leaves to me, leaves everything to her children or her child, one of them. I think it's her children. This crowns her. It is the best that it can arrive at. The star. They stole something from her. Something was stolen from her. She's trying to communicate that. We may find that, find out later on. The death was so sudden. Now, the star could also mean sudden death. I know it means hope to a lot of people, but it's also a loss. It means hope, but also a loss. You lost the sun, which is blatant. Sunshine, it's like extreme. And now night falls and you only have little twinkles of it. It's not gone. You still have the hope that it could come back the next day. But something's lost, something's stolen, something's gone. That's what the star has always meant to me. This is beneath her. What she has in is her own. Ten of Pentacles, her fortune. She is worried about something that she left. Money that she left. Things that she left that were taken from her. I think she made a will and then she revised the will before she passed away. Not that she thought she was going to be passing away. But she might have realized that whoever she had on the will, she wanted to take off the will. And she wanted to leave everything to her children. This is in the days, weeks, months before her death. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So she had a... a a good last few days, weeks, months. She did. She enjoyed herself. And this is in the next few days, weeks, months after her death. Page of Cups. Her daughter. Her daughter Ivanka. So Ivanka, I know this because this is Ivanka's a water sign. Ivanka's a Scorpio. Uh, water sign women come out as cups. Queen of cups. Uh, even knight of cups, uh, some of them. Uh, page of cups. In the, in the days, weeks, months after her death, her daughter... Hmm. She might be giving Ivanka dreams, messages through dreams. And Ivanka may be f you looking at the will, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, some sort of family issue. Maybe she's, Ivanka's catching on to whatever her mom wanted to happen. This is her, the magician. She was sick. She was sick for a long time. And she knew it. She was probably taking medication to help her with some sort of illness. And she was aware of everything. Before she died, she pinned everyone down for who they were. She pinned everyone down for who they were. In her home... Three of Swords. She died in her home. Look at that. The death of the heart. The death of the life. It's 
such a strange card. In her home, the death. Hopes and fears. King of Cups. Now, she was married to this guy who her friends didn't like and said that he was a gigolo or a uh, opportunist. I wonder if that guy's a water sign. Because in the other reading I did for her, he showed up too. That's her hopes and fears and what will come. Four of Cups. So, you know, she will have... She's not going to be satisfied with the outcome, but it's not going to be turtle, total loss for her and what she wanted. Wow, I don't know what happened. I think this lady was... Um, gullible. And she put a trust in people, friends, lawyers, that did not have her best interest. And her death to her, she thought she had more time that she could um, arrange it and fix it and make it better and do things right. And I don't think she did. I think she got some of it out there, but not all of it. And now she's thinking about her children. In the other reading, I got Don Jr. She was very worried about Don Jr. And the Four of Cups, you know, that's the, the, the card of disenchantment. You have three cups that remain full in the right of weights and one that's spilled. You have three full and one spilled. You're worried about the spilled one. So it's that sort of feeling. In this card, since this is to do with death, all her cups are standing up. But she's sad because I know this is a rabbit, but um, and he's probably bringing it to her. But she's just thinking about death and loss here, death and loss. Okay, so let me do a reading to see. On um, listen, I'm gonna put this video because it takes too long for YouTube to load it. So I'm gonna load this one first, and I'm gonna. Bid you farewell, like they say. Bid you adieu. And then I'll do another reading. I'll cut it in half. Put this one up. And then the next reading that I'm going to do right now is going to be issue haunting the Trumps. Donald Trump and them. Specifically Donald Trump. Alright, well thank you so much for listening. I'll see you shortly. See you then. Bye.